Here with Brown's offensive coordinator, Freddie Kitchens. And Freddie, we're going to take a look now at one of the many successful runs you had against the Kansas City Chiefs. What were you hoping to get here in this look and, and talk to us about this play? Well, we're just treating it as a sub defense and uh, a good sub run and trying to get it without any safety force or on the backside. So this is just basically inside zone with the backside cutoff. And uh, Seth does a good job here cutting off the backside. These guys do a good job of running and pinning them. Uh, and Nick, of course, reads it right and, and hits it up in the egg out. When you design a play like this where you're asking your tight end to come across the formation and get that weak side, what are kind of the pitfalls to that and what are the advantages to doing it? Well, the pitfalls of it would be if, if they didn't carry the uh, the crosser coming across to kick out the backside, which they didn't carry him here, but they are dropping into the weak side to carry in case we released him to the flat. So one way or the other, you want to end up with the guy that you can't block on the weak side when you're running the ball strong. When you have a guy who blends power and speed like Nick Chubb, how does that help you as a play caller? You can't put a price on that uh, from the simple fact that you don't have to be perfect with your play call. Uh, these guys up front don't have to be perfect, although they did very well in this last game, those guys up front, in the run game and the pass game. I mean, the two uh, sacks we gave up were, were mental errors. Uh, those guys performed very well up front, and Nick would be the first to tell you that.